What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're gonna be making jumbo hot dogs on the Blackstone. Let's do it. Hello, everybody. Today we're making jumbo hot dogs on the Blackstone. So it's a perfect quick meal for game day. We got football on today. Football's back. I love football. College and pros. I'm sure a lot of people that are watching do as well. If you're new to the channel, I want to thank you for stopping by and make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell down below as well. And if you're a current subscriber, I want to thank you for all your support. It really means a lot. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and give me a bunch of comments. I love all the comments. So, but what I want to know from you today is what you like to put on your hot dog. I know what I like on mine. Everybody is kind of different when it comes to that, but I'm curious to, to hear some different things. So please comment down below. Let me know which ones you like. So enough talk. Game's about to start. Let's get cooking. Let's go through our ingredients. You can see top right there, we have Martins, potato rolls, long rolls, AKA best hot dog buns ever. They are so soft, they're awesome. Uh, bottom right there, we have Nathan's Jumbo restaurant style beef franks. They were buy one, get one at Publix, $5.99 for two of them. Took advantage. Top center there, Nathan's Jumbo crinkle cut french fries. And we use the seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic, and Cajun. And then bottom center there, we have a nice cut up onion that we grilled up and made nice and sauteed, which is gonna go awesome with the hot dogs. So we get our griddle nice and warmed up and I'd say medium high heat there. Not much oil there, you can see it's not, this griddle is so awesome, it does not take that much oil to cook anything. So you saw the oil that we put there. That's it. That's all the oil we use for these French fries. Now, these French fries are already pre-cooked. It's just a matter of heating them up. Uh, they take about 20, 25 minutes in the oven, frozen. And here, throwing them on the griddle, they take about 10 minutes. And we're gonna steam them up nice. We're gonna add our own uh, seasoning, our own salt, pepper, garlic, and that Cajun seasoning I, I talked to you about. So at this point, we're gonna just mix them up, get them a little bit coated with that oil, and kind of move them to one part of the grill in the center. Get them in, in a nice rectangular area so they all fit under the grill dome. And that's it. <laughs> we're gonna add a little bit of water, steam them up, and repeat. Well, hold on. First, we're gonna add our spices, salt. Pepper. <laughs> so, garlic powder. And finally, some Badia Cajun style seasoning, which is awesome. I've used it a couple times. If you can find this stuff, it's excellent. I highly recommend it. And that's it. Once we put that stuff on there, we're gonna add a little bit of water, cover it up with our grill dome, and let it steam up. We're gonna check it every two or three minutes at this point. It doesn't take very long to cook. So a couple minutes later, we check them. They're looking good. Stir them up a little bit, move them around. You just want to check on them, make sure they're not burning or anything like that. I turned down the heat. You don't need to have these on super high. Let's say medium heat at this point. Move them over to the right, make some more room so we can uh, do some cooking more than one thing at a time here. So 
Here we go. We're going to add some more water, move them over to the right, and steam them up for another two or three minutes. So here we go. Make some room. Add a little bit of oil. Not much. You can see. Spread it out. And then we're going to throw down our onions. Yes, that's right. Grilled, griddled onions are going to go on top of the hot dogs. I like them. Why not? <laughs> They're so good. I like them raw. I like them griddled. Either way. We got the griddle. Might as well use it. So, salt, pepper, garlic. And we let those suckers get nice and toasted. Gonna mix them up a little bit here. Spread them around. You can hear that sizzle. Sizzle, sizzle, my nizzle. And that's it. We just mix them around. Um, spread them around. Make sure they're all getting nice and cooked evenly. And these are going to be a great topping for our jumbo hot dog. Make sure you break them up. If any of them are stuck together, you break them up at this point and you want them nice and evenly spread out. Flatten them out a little bit so they're all touching the griddle. And that's it, you let them cook. No big deal. Get off there, there you go. <laughs> One more. There you go. All right. So. These things are about done. That's it. It doesn't take long. It literally takes for the onions three, four minutes. If that. You're not, you're not looking for soggy, wet onions. You're just looking for something with a little bit of color. It's almost kind of in between raw and cooked. So that's what I like right there. That is absolutely perfect. So look at that color. Look at that. They're, they're just now starting to get caramelized. But they're cut up pretty big in pretty big chunks. So they're done. Let's get them off. Here we go. They're coming off. And they look beautiful. Look at that right there. That is going to be delicious. All right. The papas or the potatoes or the french fries. Whatever you want to call them. They are just about done. They We're going to mix them up a few more times. They're looking great. Oh. You can see the smoke coming off of them, the steam. All right, these are just about done. We're gonna move them over to the left here for a minute and check them out. Take a look at them. Man, look at those things. The color is beautiful. They look pretty much done. We're gonna cover them for another minute or so, maybe two, and then we'll check them and they should be ready to go. And oh, look at those things. The coloring looks beautiful. The texture looks beautiful. They are ready to go. Look at that, taking them off. Get them off, put them in a pan, 
and here is what they look like once they're done oh look at that cannot wait oh my god looks awesome all right next step a little bit more oil not much very little spread it out and this is for our jumbo nathan's all beef dogs there we go we put them down these things were monster dogs normally hot dogs you buy eight to a pack these come five because they're monster dogs So here we go. They look great. And at the same time, we're going to take our Martins or Martins, depending on where you're from. And we put some butter on them and we're going to toast these bad boys up. So we spread the butter, put the Martins. We're going to move the dogs around, make sure they're getting nice and cooked evenly. which they are. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit of a trick trying to get these things to stay straight on the Blackstone, but it's kind of the fun. Here we go. Buns are done. Look at that, nice and toasted. They all come off. And we keep messing with the dogs here. You just kinda have to play with them. I hate to say it, it sounds kinda weird, right? You gotta kind of play with the with your hot dog to get them nice and cooked evenly on the blackstone. But they do look beautiful. <laughs> and here's a little close up, <laughs> nice and brown, evenly cooked, and our dogs are ready to go. I cannot wait for my hot dogs. Let's give them a taste. Hoo wee! We got ourselves a beautiful jumbo hot dog from Nathan's along with some Nathan's crinkle cut fries. We put some special seasoning on those. And to answer your question, the way I like my hot dogs, mayonnaise on the bottom, Grilled onions on top. I'll take raw too, either or. And a little bit of mustard to go with it as well. Let's give it a bite. Oh, that is a hot dog. Look at that, it looks beautiful. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is awesome. Hmm. That is one of my favorite foods. So simple to make, so much fun. Football afternoon, super easy on the Blackstone. And man, let me tell you, hold up. Let me try one of these fries. Hmm. Muy bueno. Seasoning just right. Tastes awesome. Everybody, I want to thank you all for liking, subscribing, commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.